How much I got? All right. So I'm going to just say it. I'm going to just say it, bro. It's going to be raw and uncut. So when you really trying to level up in life, bro, that's when all the bullshit start, bro. That's when all the bullshit come along, bro. And you know what? I'm scared of money. I'm fucking scared of money, bro. I feel like I'm being exposed at the, at the moment. So I'm really like exposing the exposure. I feel like I am afraid of money. And they say scared money don't make money. That's real. And the reason, bro, the reason I have not been making money or making the money that I feel like I deserve is because I'm afraid of it. I'm just as uncomfortable when I don't have money as I am when I do. I'm scared of money. And right now, bro, I'm in the time of my life, bro, I'm 30 and the moment I'm recording this. Bro, I'm reaching a point in my life where I'm realizing I'm looking around and I'm like, damn, bro, this shit weak. This shit weak. Fuck this. This shit weak as fuck. Like, this is some mediocre shit. Damn, my life is mediocre. I've been settling for mediocre all the way up until this point, especially as an adult, specifically as an adult, because that's when you, you don't have no excuse. And I'm like, damn. At first, I'm like, at first I was hurt. Like, no, no, no. At first I was in denial. At first I was like, no, nah. no, nah, that's not me. No, nah, I'm good. No, nah. like I'm supposed to have less. I'm supposed to like not have the exact kind of life that I really want. Oh, no, nah, that's weird. If I actually like believe in like that, I can achieve more. Then it went into a delusional space which I guess that is the delusional space, but it's like, I doubled down on that shit. So it was that. Um, and now I'm at a space where I'm like mad. I'm angry, bro. And I'm gonna tell you right now, again, I'm exposing the exposure that I feel. Maybe hopefully it cancels it out <laughs> some weird way, some like artsy fartsy way. Um, I'm awkward with anger. I am awkward with anger. You know, I was raised to carry myself with poise publicly. You know, I was raised to having a, a heightened awareness of how I'm perceived by others. Right. And throughout my life, I've learned that, like, if you make people feel good, they they won't ruin or attempt to ruin your reputation or attempt to ruin or, or taint the way you're perceived publicly. You know, whether that means, you know, you know, my mom would always make sure like her children would step out looking a certain way, looking like they got it together, even if they don't. It's about looking like you got it together because perception is nine tenths of reality. It was one of one of my my mom's favorite quotes to tell me. Perception is nine tenths of reality. It ain't about what it is. It ain't about what you're saying or what you're doing. It's about how you did it and how you said it. So yes, there's truth to that. But when you break it down to like an individual, like, oh, I gotta like grow up and mature and learn like the ins and outs about insurance and taxes and like, you know, paying debts and all of this other shit, like adult shit, when you're trying to like be an adult, like I said in the beginning, when you're trying to level up, Ooh, that's when the, what did I say? The rooster come home, the, the rooster come home to roost or some stupid shit. I totally said that wrong, but you know what I'm saying? Like, that's when like all the shit that you didn't learn, whether it was your fault or not, the seeds to that ignorance are starting to like blossom and flower into gardens and gardens of mishaps and mistakes and just out of ignorance and not knowing, not knowing how to water those seeds properly. You grow bullshit. So again, like I'm angry right now because it's like, fuck, like why, why ain't nobody like showing me? Why ain't no motherfucker like older than me who done been through this is like, hey, young man, this is how you do it. Why, bro? I tell, I'm fucking angry about it. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I'm awkward with anger because I don't want to be perceived as an angry motherfucker. I don't want to be perceived as angry, even though by default, suppressing shit, it only amplifies when it finally gets expressed. And bro, bro, I feel angry than a bitch right now. That's why I just... Fuck it, bro. I, I gotta just come out and just say it like raw as I'm saying it right now. I have to. Like, usually I've done shit like this where I've expressed anger and I like hit it. And again, it speaks to my point of like the like being so like emotional and, and, and sensitive to how I'm perceived, to my reputation, how people see me, people's opinions of me, how oh, people's thoughts of me. Oh, I don't, I don't. And, and that makes you secretive because you then hide your true identity. But the longer you try to hide who you really are, the more you forget who you are because you've been hiding it. So, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to get better, bro. And at every turn, bro, where I go and try to progress myself in a certain area, bro, I get knocked down, bro. And I, I'm like, man, fuck this bullshit. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel that, you feel that. And <clears throat> after some time go by, like, you know, I still got to deal with the anger and shit and it pops up in other areas of my life. You know what I'm saying? And of course I respond to that angrily, right? Because it's misplaced anger and it has nothing to do with the actual situation, but it comes from some whole other shit. <sighs> Weird. But as time go on, you take it in stride, you know, I take it in stride and I try to derive the lesson from it, right? And I do, I do derive the lesson from it. And I truly have a moment where I have an aha moment, but the work still has to be done. And growing is painful. Growth is painful and it sucks. Nothing is fun about leveling up. 
nothing is fun about it. Where I know what you see on Instagram and what you see like on the internet, you know, and what they show you behind that veil, that veil of illusion of like what success looks like. But that's just the end result. And that's just the surface. You didn't see everything that went into that. You don't know all the behind the scenes shit. You just get to see the result. But then, you know, at some random moment, you have somebody who publicly display like an outburst and then everybody's reacting as if they don't go through the same shit. So again, but I'm gonna bring it back to me. You know, as time go on, I derive those lessons, but that work gotta be done. And now I'm just putting in the work and I gotta fucking, I gotta talk about it, bro. I'm expressive. I'm not talkative, I'm expressive. And I'm talking, I'm fucking, man, look, bro. Like, it's real like that. It's real like that. You feel that energy. You know I'm not bullshitting right now. You know I mean what I'm saying. Cause you feel it. But I'm trying my best, man. And I ain't gonna give up. I ain't gonna give up. I ain't gonna give up, but I'm, I'm pissed off and I need to express that anger. I need to express that frustration because in this moment of being exposed and exposing the exposure, I brought up that I'm awkward with anger. And usually I would disguise it and, and deal with it and suffer internally by myself. Internally by myself. Sorry, I got a message. I got distracted. Um, and just like go through all those internal conflicts you know, within myself, grappling with the anger because I'm awkward with it. And by the time I reach a pleasant point and I quote unquote get over it, then I come out and I'm pleasant again. So you have no idea about the anger and the anguish that I just went through privately. But fuck that. Fuck that. It's over for that because I want to level up. I want my life to get better. I want to fucking experience joy and happiness and peace and abundance. So I'm glad all this bullshit is popping up so I can deal with it, address it and debt it and keep it moving. Interrupted my motherfucking broad. You interrupted my motherfucking broadcast with that bullshit. With that bullshit. Mediocre. I ain't doing it no more. But I gotta realize, y'all. Bro, like you earned this shit, my nigga. Like you earned this shit. I earned this shit. I earned all the bullshit, all the anger and frustration that I'm dealing with. I earned it because of my ignorance in the past and not handling my business and not being on top of my shit and making bonehead money moves. I earned the bullshit, the, the debt that I now have to payback that I'm paying back right now or that I'm struggling to even get to that place because it seems like nobody is giving me clear-cut answers of how to do it and when I say nobody I mean the people who I've been referred to be able to deal with such things I'm not going to get into detail I'm being vague on purpose because it is my journey and everyone out there goes through things right so I'm not blaming anybody but me it's my fault I take it I own it but now I'm gonna pop my shit though I'm angry and I'm gonna pop my shit and I'm glad I'm I'm glad I get to pop my shit right now this shit feels great to get out you ever been holding some shit in? You ever just wanted to scream? And when you, ah! like when you get, when you do it, it's like the greatest feeling in the world. That's what this is, right? And people who, when I, when I put this out, cause I am going to put it out. When people see this, people who may know me in the past or may know me not be like, yo, damn, bro, bro tripping, bro crazy. Again, that's just me addressing that idea of the public image. You remember I said that earlier? Point proven. That's me being overly sensitive and overly aware of how I'm publicly perceived. But you see, as I'm still doing it, and still decide to put this out. You see how it kind of like makes it this weird like cancelization thing and it's in a strange theoretical way. Like I can't help but to be theoretical in how I, when I do these things because this is art to me, by the way. This is performance. I'm really good at it. Congratulations. You get to experience something that's raw as fuck. And with a nigga like me and my image, because anybody with eyes can see that I have one. You get to experience something like that's entertaining. Congratulations. Hmm. Interesting one, right? Peace. See you later.